Today, we will show you how to complete your dockside wizard for a mechanical solenoid autopilot from a connected Garmin multifunction display. For this video, we will be using a Reactor 40 mechanical retrofit solenoid core pack and a GPS map 8424. You will need to have the autopilot installed before you can perform the wizards. Please refer to the autopilot's installation manual for instructions or have the autopilot installed by a certified installer. Failure to install and maintain this equipment in accordance with these instructions could result in damage or injury. You can complete the dockside wizard while the boat is in or out of the water. The boat must be stationary while you complete the wizard. You must provide rudder movement clearance to avoid damage to the rudder or other objects. Use caution to avoid injury caused by moving parts. To begin, press Home, Settings, My Vessel, Autopilot Installation Setup. Read the warning and select Yes. Then select Wizards, Dockside Wizard, and begin. Select your vessel type. For this video, we will be selecting a power planing hull. Select the drive unit class. For the next two steps, you will need to consult the manufacturer of your solenoid drive unit to determine the solenoid voltage and the solenoid bypass valve voltage. Providing an incorrect solenoid voltage value or solenoid bypass valve voltage value for your drive unit can damage your drive unit. Select the voltage approved for your solenoid drive unit. For this video, we will be using a 12 volt drive. Now, select the bypass valve voltage approved for your solenoid drive unit. Select yes or no depending if you have a shadow drive installed. A shadow drive is not required to be installed with the system. First, turn to full starboard. Press OK. Now you will turn all the way to port. Then press OK. Center the rudder using the diamond symbol at the bottom of your screen. It will turn white when the symbol reaches the center. Select Begin. The autopilot will take over the controls for a short time as it calibrates. Now we will set the steering direction. Use the arrow keys on your screen to move the rudder to port and to starboard. You will want to watch your rudder to ensure it is turning the correct way. Select the switch direction button if the controls appear to be backwards. Move the rudder again using the arrow keys to ensure it's working properly. Select Next. Now, select your speed source. Select Tachometer if you connected one or more NMEA 2000 compatible engines to the NMEA 2000 network. Select GPS as a speed source if a NMEA 2000 tachometer data source is not available from one or more engines. Garmin recommends using an external GPS antenna mounted with a clear view of the sky to provide reliable and accurate GPS speed information. Select None if you did not connect an NMEA 2000 engine or GPS device as a speed source. Garmin recommends connecting a tachometer through the NMEA 2000 network or using an external GPS antenna as the speed source if the autopilot does not perform well using none as the speed source. Verify the information on the dockside wizard review is correct and select done. And that's it. Thanks for watching. For more help, please visit marinesupport.garmin.com.